Greetings and welcome to my dinner table. Today for something completely different, this series will be called Pasta with Pasta or just Cooking with Pasta. And today, thanks to a very special friend on YouTube, I'm talking about you, Neil Keppelmarsh, Dr. Jamie, who provided me with a nice little video, you will see in a second, uh, of the contents of his fridge. So I took that and a few other ingredients and today we will together make pasta carbonara. Well, a variant by me, let's say it like that. Which, um, ignore the basil leaves, just take them away like this. It looks like that. It is very delicious. It contains bacon, eggs, cheese and cream. And the stuff on there as well well now it doesn't look that good oh well let's get cooking I will show you Neil's video and afterwards what ingredients you actually need to make this bacon two cheese triangles peanut butter massive fucking bag of pasta wraps chopped tomatoes tuna one entire lemon drizzle cake kidney beans bread rolls whipped cream tomatoes tinned mackerel Tin sardines, chezzes, barbecue sauce, brown sauce, salt, pepper, that was the wrong way around, pesto, beans, whatever the fuck that is, milk, margarine, cream cheese, and a single blueberry. As far as ingredients go, we will need some pasta, which is fusilli today, those little spiral noodles quite delicious we'll need some bacon bacon delicious bacon or the american style uh, i like the british style better but we can't get that in germany so next up some sliced cheese uh take whatever you like i'm taking gouda for now we'll need some margarine oil butter or something uh liked for actually um uh, smearing the pan. We'll need an egg, preferably large size. And we need some cream. Nice cream, 200 grams or milliliters. As far as seasoning goes, we need some pre grinded salt for the noodle water. We'll need some more salt. You can take the same salt, uh, but I like this uh, sea salt uh, for self grinding, more for the sauces. We'll need some pepper. I prefer the white pepper for creamy sauces, so there we go. Um, as far as creamy sauces go, nutmeg powdered or for self grinding is amazing for that, so we'll take that. We'll take some thyme, uh, grinded and dried, and some oregano, also grinded and dried. Right, and now for the materials. Materials. We need a pot with a lid to cook the pasta in. We need a noodle sieve to afterwards get rid of the water. We need a frying pan, preferably non-sticky. We need a knife. Nice knife. There we go. And we need a cutting board to cut things up on. So, these are the things we need. Right, let's get to the cutting. I got my knife and we don't need to cut that much. Uh, we need to cut the bacon, so let's rip it open. If we actually can, because this is cheap bacon. And... Mm. There we go. Ah. Well, that was an embarrassment on camera. Oh, there. There we go. So this is 100 grams of bacon. We don't need as much. So I'll take roughly half of it. Uh, and let's take one pieces or in there, so five. Right, and now I need to cut it down. So let's get going. Come on now. Ah, worst thing is, it's not so easy to cut this stuff. Uh, which is why you might want to have a sharp knife with you. Uh, you should have one very good knife in your kitchen. Um, as far as 
vegetable knives, those small ridicul ridiculous ones go. You can, have a uh, you can have cheap ones, but you should have one good knife which you can use for cutting meat or bacon like this. And it has to be sharp. So, yeah. And let's go through here. Just like a mat thing. Right! Bacon! Cut! Nice. Now, cheese. We don't need that much cheese. There we go. Um, this has no um, crust. No, is it called crust with cheese? I'll take uh, two slices for now. And we want to cut it very, very small cubicle thingies so it uh, can melt very nicely. Um, alternatively to the sliced cheese, um, which I took because uh, Neil had it in his, in his uh, fridge, um, you can take uh, Parmigiano Reggiano, or Parmesan cheese as we call it, or Grana Padano, um, those are Italian hard cheeses and you can just uh, grind it and it's perfectly for this dish. So yeah, you can go for that as well, but for now we go with the cut sliced cheese and here we go. And now, of course, everything flies around, not as anticipated, get rid of that, this way, and now just cut the cheesy goodness in front of us. The smaller the better, so it melts. Right, bacon and cheese. What more could you ask for? As far as preparation goes, there is one more thing which I totally forgot about. Um, because we put egg in the sauce, it is good to actually do that beforehand, um, so the, uh, the cream and the egg actually mix properly. So just take the cream, put it into a some sort of uh, plastic container or whatever you got. Just crack open the egg, away with that, and now take a fork so that the uh, yellow of the egg can actually be pierced and then you can stir it just like this until you don't see um, yellow, darker yellow bits anymore. So, uh, this looks about right. Yep, and they mix properly, like this. Right, on to the actual cooking now. Right, we're at my stove, so let's begin. First of all, we need the margarine to actually fry the bacon. So we need just a bit. Uh, come on now. And let's turn on the stove. Um, to a high degree, but not actually too high. My stove has uh, nine levels, if you want so, and I'm now going on seven and a half. Right, so we wait for that. Now, the water. You don't want to cook your noodles, or your pasta, uh, without salt, because that is just blah. I filled the pot half full with water. It's about one and a half liters of water, and I use about one, uh, is it a tablespoon? Well, let's say it's a tablespoon, full of salt into the water. Turn it on to maximum power. It will take some time, but uh, yeah, that's because it's a uh, normal electronic stove. So let's put the lid on that and wait for the butter to actually melt. Right, the butter started melting, so I can now do this. If you got a gas stove, please be careful because it goes crazy fast. So, uh, yeah. 
I want to now fry the bacon to satisfactory goodness. And uh, yeah, nice bacon action going on here in a minute. Yeah, it takes a little bit of time with my stove, but oh well. Oh well, oh well, oh well. The water will take uh, somewhat longer, but um, uh, an Italian once said me, you want the, uh, the sauce ready once your pasta is done, so it, uh, the pasta doesn't go mushy mushy. Um, so it's not just weirdness and uh, yeah. I like to cook the pasta al dente. Um, Facilities normally take about 11 minutes, so I have a little clock thingy here, which will, I will prepare to 11 minutes. And ah, I smell bacon. That is just oh, bacon, bacon. Okay, ah, mm, the smell of bacon. So, um, I will put down the level of the stove to a six, so two thirds of power. Um, with gas stoves, maybe two and a half now. Normal electronic stoves, yeah, about two thirds, but gaseous uh, gas stoves, about a half, maybe a little bit less, because you've got enough heat going on. Come on now. When do they invent smellivision? This just smells tremendous. Just marvelous. Right, I now let this cook for some time until it's nice, brown and crispy. So I'll see you in a few minutes. Right, look at that. Nice and br nice brown and crispy bacon. Ah, nice, nice, nice. Right, we're now ready to add um, the cream and egg thingy we made earlier. So I'm still on level six on my stove. Um, I will turn it down to four and a half now. So roughly half on electronic stoves. Maybe put it down a notch on the gas stoves as, uh, as well. So yeah, there we go. Put it in like that. And you will see it will cook right now. So I want to get rid of that. And now put in the cheese as well, so it can melt. Right. Uh, put down the heat a notch, or another notch. And you will see that um, immediately it will um, be harder to stir because the egg in the sauce will actually um, make it thicker, uh, which is exactly what we want. This is not a very thin sauce, this is a very thick and um, set... Ah, how, how's it called? It's very thick, saturated... Nah, not really. Yeah, you want to stir uh, so the cheese can melt and everything gets nice and mixed. Um, although, we want to add spices, so now for some regular seasoning. Thyme. Put it in, put it in, put it in. Right, thyme. Oregano. In with it, in with it. Put down the Eden Orch now on level three of nine, so one third. Wow, thyme. Nutmeg. Not too much, because uh, it's not good. White pepper or black pepper. Right. Salt only a little bit because the bacon and the cheese will add, as well as the pasta itself. So, now keep stirring. Keep stirring until it looks nice, even symmetrically <laughs> if you want. No, not symmetrically. That, that would be weird. But we want the cheese to melt, so it is a nice, thick sauce, mmm, like this, yeah. Right, 
and um, uh, I'm putting up the heat a notch again. Uh, I'm never sure with my stove. I'm always fiddling around with with the the buttons. Maybe I just like fiddling around with buttons. Oh well. So the pasta water is nearly boiling, but we want it to be boiling. Uh, because only afterwards we can add the the rest. Oh, and here is another tip uh, or another piece of advice for the non-sticky pans like this. You want to use um, plastic spoons, plastic, well not forks, um, so it doesn't scratch the surface. Because once you scratch the surface and it will uh, go off, it's it's not good for your health. And um, it will damage the pan, it won't be non-sticky anymore. So, uh, yeah, you don't want that. You really don't want that, trust me. I had to throw away one pan and, nah, it wasn't good. All right, I will call you, uh, keep stirring. <laughs> um, so everything stays nice and mixed. And I will come back to you once the noodle water is boiling. Right, I'm still stirring the sauce, um, it's about one minute later, and as you can see, the water is boiling, so put the lid away, turn down the heat on the water, um, I put it down to six, so pretty much two thirds, I already weighed myself uh, 150 grams of pasta, which is enough for me, um, of course you can use it as, as much as you want, the, um, the sauce will be enough for half a kilo, of pasta roughly so yeah put it in in the water throw away the plastic thingy and every now and then stir the pasta and so uh, it doesn't stick together start the timer 11 minutes um, normally with this type of pasta or with this brown of pasta um, it gets perfectly al dente so uh, not a little bit hard in the middle um, with the 11 minutes or with the um, the time on on the on the package, put down the heat of of the sauce to just a little bit of heat. So minimum flame, minimum electricity, or whatever you are using. If you are using a home mist diffusion or something, uh, don't put in anything, I suppose. So it just stays warm because practically the sauce is pretty much do done. You see the consistency? It looks a little bit like scrambled eggs with too much water in it. Um, taste with a small spoon and see if it fits your spicy needs. Mm. In my case, it is exactly how I want it. Um, especially with salt, you have to really be careful because the pasta will give off salt as well. Uh, the cheese in here has salt, the bacon has salt, so you really don't need that much salt in it. So, leave that alone for now. And you have to cook the pasta, so it's it's just um, a little bit bubbly in, in the top, yeah, in the top. Uh, <laughs> in the pot, I mean. Don't keep the water boiling, really, just... Um, just keep it warm. You see a little bit of bubbles going on. That is exactly the right heat. So about half um, in level with a gas stove and two thirds with electronic or whatever you are ha uh, you are having. Keep that the whole time. If it does try to boil again, put down the heat a notch and um, you have to fiddle around a bit. You have to get to know your stove. Well, that sounds totally ridiculous, but. Yeah, you have to get to your, know your stove, uh, how it reacts when you put down the heat or put up the heat. So, yeah. So, I will bring you in when the pasta is ready and we can serve the dish. than it was so uh, I have to revoke my saying that uh, it will be enough for 500 grams let's say 300 grams or maybe 
Maybe 250. We'll see. Alright, timer is over right now. So, with that, now to actually turn the camera to my sink. So you can see, take the, uh, turn off the heat on both stoves. Take the pot and just throw it into the noodle sieve. Then just let it dry a little bit. Just a little bit though. And now let's get back to the actual pan and pot. Put the pot away. Don't need it anymore. Be careful with the hot field. Take the noodles and now just put it into the pan. You can do that with up to 300 grams, not 500 like I said. Um, although, eh, this is pretty much good for this portion. So, instead of putting it up on top, I will uh, just mix it in the pan, which is, in my opinion, much, much better because the, the pasta takes the flavor of the sauce while mixing. Uh, and and th uh, this type of pasta is actually perfect for creamy sauces um, because it can take the um, uh, the sauce quite well. As you see, it will uh, sit in the little fishes of the pasta. Not fishes. Anyway, yeah, this is how it looks. Deal with it. No. <laughs> and now let's take a plate. And let's shove the pasta onto the plate. Not me though, please. Don't shove me onto the plate. That I wouldn't like that. A bit more. And look, there's even something left in the pan for a second person. Or for me, when I'm hungry later. And now to top it off and be fancy, I have some fresh basil leaves. Because I have a little basil plant. Like this, it looks. So, I hope you like it. Anyways, thank you so much for watching and Neil, thank you very much to providing me with the, uh, with what I shall cook. So, if you have a request what I shall cook in the next episode or uh, what your fridge contains so I can create something out of that, just let me know in the comments or write me a message on Twitter, for example, where my nick is at Pestafarian42. I certainly hope to see you next time as well. And so, until then, yours faithfully, the Pestafarian.